Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, I sure haven't done one of these in a very long time. But, um, I just wanted to, I wanted to showcase a new team that I created. Um, but, uh, I do need a sketch and a little bit of, a uh, little bit of, uh, current events type stuff. Um, but before I continue, though, um, like usual, I'm gonna throw some music on. This is gonna be a Perka Day, uh, Seruno's Day, I guess. It's... It's kind of like a, uh, like lo-fi, lo-fi dungeon rap. That's the best explanation I can give for it. And it looks like I have taskbar problems. So, yeah, I gotta, my taskbar just now locked up on me, so I gotta, bad time for this to happen. So, so to start with, just um, woke up from my morning nap. Uh, just got going on this game. Um, I went in here and I realized I had enough resources to craft a diamond ring of fire and ice. So, made one of them. And then, uh, Friday, Friday when the, uh, new Mythic came out, some poor preparation here, should have moved this up, but I managed to get not one, but two Tech Shakas. So, I uh, toyed around with this for a while, and, and I'll probably, uh, but here, let me kind of, Kind of do a quickie dicky rundown of how this works. Um, diamond ring of iron and ice. It's gonna damage everybody, but it's also gonna freeze and burn everybody. Then it's also gonna create three blue giant and three red giant gems. And again, this is a new mythic that came out. Um, big one on the bottom. Create a wild card. Every, create a wild card in return. This is basically a new and improved Anoxia. Uh, deals deals a huge amount of true damage to an enemy and a random one. And then creates blue and green gems. And I have two of them, so two wild cards every turn. And then the green gems they create feeds into him, which again he can create uh, more blue and red giants. Then Possessed King, he's mainly there for the trade on the bottom. Blows up random gems. Now, I've experimented with uh, various other classes. I just find Sun Spirit to be the best at it. Just being able to keep a Firestorm up at all times. If there was a way to keep a, an Ice Storm up at all times, I'd have gone with that. Um... I've tried using. I've tried using uh, whoop. I've tried using Ash's tome. It kind of works. It keeps an ice storm up, but it um. It doesn't freeze and burn everybody, like what this does. And then initially, I had, I did have Queen Bee in there. I had her like in this slot, but it just, it, the green, the green she creates, Tax Shaka, Tax Shaka doesn't use. Only the, only the weapon, and nobody on the team uses brown. restart this computer as I'm like I said I got a I got taskbar problems right when I started making this video it cropped up now if I was doing content where it debuffs 
are a major problem, yeah, I'd probably have her in there, or... Just simply have, uh, Wanda Stars, but... Again, there's no, uh... There's no freezing or burning all enemies with this. And then, uh, a bit later on, I'll... I'll do a run or two in PvP. But I'll go ahead and show it here, because in case I forget to... I also had Doom Tome in there as well. Um, but uh, this only really works in PvP. But even then, it kind of slows the team down because he's going to do a fair amount of mana blocking for a while until I can get him filled up. But this is also the kind of kind of weapon you want to keep using. So... But if I remember to, I'll explain more about it when I get up, when I get into PvP. Oh, and now uh, the name, RGB SOD, just the red, green, blue screen of death. It just you'll 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 kind of see why. But again, I went um, I found Sunspear, could probably be the best one, if only just to keep a constant firestorm up. Um, other classes, assassin. Um. I think there's uh, one other. You could uh, start with an ice storm, but that's it. But you know, extra red mana, and then um, this is the other reason I had the ring in there just to burn the entire, just to burn everybody, and then on the off chance I come across some skulls, then you know just use them, possibly one shot in the uh, enemy, but. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and do a demo run or two. Oh, and th that is something else. I, um, I went through and I spent a bunch of trade stones that I've been building up to trade out some of my troops. I'll just grab him for an example. So, yes. Yeah, Spent some of these trying to get them traded up. Um, and um, I think I had about 80 or 90 of them. I'm not go I'm not going to spend all of them. But again, it just... Just look at all these uh, resources I got and stuff. Then having a whole bunch of untraded troops, I figured... Eh, what the hell. But this is my cutoff. 50. Um, a lot of the weapons in the Soul Forge, I think they cost either 3... Or ten. Three or ten, so I don't don't want to spend all of them. So and another reason why is just I'm actually starting to miss doing these these uh explore runs. Cause usually up until recently it's just been nothing but uh doing the dailies, the guild events. And then going straight into PvP, but I haven't done what I haven't done these explore runs in a long time. So, and you're, but the goal is to try to get this guy filled up first. And then, usually I talk at him because he's impervious. shot the last guy.
But again, you can um, you can try other classes too. Um, I think I try a tide collar. You gonna explode a blue gem? Nothing. Nothing really stood up. Let's see what else did I try. Um, I tried out Sentinel. Yeah, I'd have to. Get, I'd have to get this to level 40 though. Brown, you can dispel. Uh, let's see what else should I try. Monk works all right, but uh, she's already at level 70 plus. Uh, Frost Mage, I believe I tried him, but start with 50% mana, but. And then elementalist, I mean, yeah, I could most uh most certainly use him, use this one too. Um, yeah, I think I used assassin. Yeah, he has a. You can start with an ice storm. They got a barbarian. Not. This is Corsair? Yeah, extra, uh, extra blue mana. I think I might have been. I thought he started with a. Uh... I guess not. Oh, Leaf Storm. But yeah, like I said, I found a... Oh, oh, oh. I did try uh, another class. Yeah, a little heavy on the offense. Yeah, it's this one here. You can uh, do a ice storm. It kind of works. But, uh... The ice storm can't be overwritten by anything else. That's the uh, that's the kind of, that's the problem. It it creates an ice storm, but that's it. If anybody uh if, if your opponent had any other kind of storm, it'll end up overriding this one. Whereas with the uh, sun spear, it stays up all the time. But like I said, um, you can do a fair amount of different classes. do with that just for the hell of it. In case you hadn't noticed, this is uh, this uh, album is from France, French. And 
And for this, since this is a boss battle, to get a top guy entangled. And then after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this in PvP. So go ahead and do this one here too while we're at it. Um, and this is this is one of the team's weaknesses right here. Cause she's gonna do a whole lot of cursing and stunning. And again, one big um, one big component of this team is uh, creating a wild card every turn. So, let's try it out in PvP. Now, PvP week is the same exact same exact kingdoms as last week. We got blue. And then in here... But uh, again, the big problem with this is it's only taken one color. Until you fill this weapon up, he's going to mana, at least as far as blue goes, he's going to mana block the other two. And then there's also the problem, too, that uh, with that weapon, he's not burning anybody else, so... down up but and that's another weakness that this team has submerge so Nope, he ain't burning. Now 
got a 90. to go, buddy. So, I'll tell you what. Let me, uh, let me try this team out in Central Spire. First. Let's go and copy. Oh, okay, here's a good one to start with. Lucky there. Of course, I'm fighting um uh, low level teams right now. Just to try this one. I kind of want to go up against a Zolgov team, but yeah, um. For this kind of PvP, I am going to have to uh, probably go with Wanda Stars. Because, like I said, I mean, right now, these are all... Uh, these are low-level battles. Oh, we got a 77. Frozen. So we're back to this again. Pretty handy dandy item right there. But on the other hand, I guess being frozen ain't 
that big of a deal. Not when you're you're all but one shot in the targets anyway. Otherwise, um, that's going to go ahead and do it. That's going to do it for me. I just wanted to go ahead and showcase that um, and talk about a few things here and there as well. So, but otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.